For those of you who are wondering why people don't open up about the experiences of gender and racial discrimination in the workplace, I'm going to tell you why. Have you ever wondered whether your workplace is truly inclusive and welcoming to everybody? While you might feel confident that you've created a safe space for all employees, the truth is that discrimination and inequality can still be hiding in plain sight. It's important to acknowledge that just because no one has spoken up about their experiences of discrimination doesn't mean that everything is fine within your organization. In fact, it may be a sign that people don't feel comfortable sharing their experiences with you. In other words, not enough trust or psychological safety has been developed for your people. As an inclusion architect and diversity consultant, I've seen firsthand how people who face discrimination in the workplace often keep their experiences to themselves. Speaking up can be really risky and they don't want to be seen as the victim or a troublemaker in front of their co-workers. Often discriminatory behavior can be really small or microaggressions as we call them in the trade and they can often go unchallenged because they can be so fleeting or the recipient thinks that there must be something wrong with them rather than the culture of the team. Multiple studies show that discrimination is still a major issue in many workplaces up and down the country. For example, Equal Rights Advocates reports that one in three women have experienced sexual harassment at work. This is a big number and has to be changed. So that means just based on the statistics alone, it's highly probable that there are some issues lurking within your organization. So it's likely that there are problems waiting to be discovered in your own workplace based on the statistical evidence. And it's not just women who face harassment bullying and discrimination. A McKinsey report found that LGBTQ plus employees are more likely to experience exclusion and bias at work. People from an ethnic minority background also face higher rates of discrimination and bias within the workplace, despite the spotlight of racial inequality around the world in recent years. So why don't people speak up about their experiences? Well, according to Forbes, many women don't report harassment because they fear retaliation or not being taken seriously. The same McKinsey report found that many LGBTQ plus employees don't report discrimination because they fear negative consequences for their careers. In my experience, people don't think an issue is serious enough to take to HR or that HR won't act on any complaints or incidents are just not severe enough for the more formal channels like whistleblowing hotline. But the bottom line is that this is not just a problem for the individuals who experience discrimination. It's a problem for your entire organization. When people feel excluded, they are less likely to be engaged and productive at work. If a culture of psychological safety is not nurtured, if trust is not built up, if people feel that they cannot call out or call in disruptive behavior, then problems can fester and eventually hit the headlines. Case in point would be the headlines about sexual harassment at Uber or the culture of fear at BrewDog. That's why as an inclusion architect and diversity consultant who has worked with the world's top companies like Centrica, Mitchells and Butlers, Plan UK, Sony Pictures, HarperCollins Publishing, CBC in Canada, Carnival UK and more, I've created a free mini-series of videos that are going to enhance the level of equality, diversity and inclusion within your organization. You're going to get newfound clarity on how your organization is doing in this regard and which areas need the most attention. So sign up today and learn how you can build a better workplace for everyone.